Firstly, for this decoration, we will be needing crepe paper. I have crepe paper in white color and I will be using crepe paper in red color. Of the white and the red color, we will make small squares of 9 by 9 centimeters. In total, we will be needing four flowers, two white colors and two red colors. For each flower, we will be needing six pieces like this. That will make one flower and we will be needing 12 pieces to make two flowers. So in total, we will be needing 12 pieces of the white of 9 by 9 centimeters and 12 pieces of the red color of 9 by 9 centimeters. So first we are going to place these six papers on top of each other. After having done so, we will make small zigzag folds. Mm -hmm. Then we will take a small piece of thread, place it in the middle, go around it and we will make a knot here. We will make a double knot and we will cut out any excess thread that we have. After we have tied this, we will go in the corner and we will make a cut like this. And that's the same that we will be doing on this side as well. We will make a cut following our finger shape. After we have done that, we will open it up and carefully we will bring each time one paper for above. same that we are going to do on the other side. Like this, we are going to make two white flowers and two red flowers. After that we will take two red A4 size papers, we will fold it in half and then we will keep on folding it so that we get zigzag folds. That's exactly the same that we'll be doing with this paper. After we have made the zigzag folds, we'll fold it over in half. That's the same that I'm going to do with this one. After we have folded this in half, we'll take stapler and we'll staple it. Do the same with the other piece. After we have done that, we'll take one side and we will take a puncher and in the middle we will make a hole. That's the same that we are going to do on this side as well. Do this on the other paper also. After we have made the holes inside and make a cut like this. That's the same that we are going to do on this side as well. Just fold it over and follow this cut. Now we will place this paper on top of this and we will follow this cut line again. Do the same on the other side as well. After we have done this, we'll take this paper and here we will draw a small triangle. We will cut this out. 
fold this over and then we will cut this one now we will take this other piece of paper we will place it on, on top of each other so that it is equal and then we will cut out here and we will cut out this piece as well and we will staple these two together after having done so and we will put some glue on it and paste these two together that's the same what we are going to do on this side we will put glue here and we will glue these two pieces together next we will put some glue here Paste these two pieces together and we will put some glue here and paste these two pieces together as well. Next we will take a piece of red color paper and white color paper. We will take the white and we will fold it in half, open it up and cut it on the fold line now we will take the red color paper and on four centimeters we will fold it over and we will cut out this piece of paper that we have here cut it on the fold line as well we will be needing four strips like this and we will be needing two white papers like this next we'll take our white color paper put glue on the edge and paste our red color paper above it do the same on this side as well let the red color paper be one centimeter above the white color paper that's what we are going to do with both pieces now we will fold it over in half and create zigzag folds in this one as well. same with the other piece as well from half turn it over fold it in half and fold this one in half as well staple both in the middle and staple these two together glue all the open spaces and glue all the pieces together next we'll take three pieces a four size paper i have two red colors and one white color first we made the zigzag folds like this now we are not going to do so now we are going to turn the paper and we are going to make our zigzag folds like this. We will fold all three of the papers like this. the zigzag folds on these we will fold this in half we will take our puncher again and make a hole on both sides we will staple this in the middle one side we will make a cut like this Fold it over the other side the same way. 
we will take our paper we will draw a small triangle here cut it out fold it over and cut the triangle here on this side as well this is one piece we'll do exactly the same with the two other pieces after we have done that we'll take the white and the red color and we will staple it together and on the white color we are going to staple this here after having done so we'll glue it on all the opening Next, we'll take red A4 size paper and we will fold it in half. Cut this out. Take one piece, fold it in half. Fold it in half again and fold it in half one more time. And we will make zigzag folds in this. Do the same with the other piece. Fold it in half. Staple it in the middle. And cut this piece out. Fold it over and cut the other side in the same way as well and that's the same that we are going to do with this piece of paper staple these two pieces together and then put glue on it to make our flower make two flowers like this here again I have red and white paper we'll take a small square of 5 by 5 centimeters of the white color and we will fold it in half draw half of a heart on it and cut it out and we will make hearts in different sizes we will paste this heart on this pan the same way we will make two red hearts of 4 centimeters and we will paste them each heart on one of these fans the same way we will make red hearts of 6 by 6 centimeter make multiple red color hearts which we will be using to decorate our backdrop the same way we will make small hearts of 5 centimeters two small hearts which we will paste here and I made two small hearts 3 centimeters which we will be using for these two flowers special viewers request if you have any special request if you wish to have a special decoration let me know in the comment section below 
comment it. I'll try my best to make the decoration for you as soon as possible. Let me know in the comment section below how you did like this DIY. If you did like this DIY, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please don't leave my channel without subscribing. There are many more anniversary birthday decorations and all kinds of other DIYs coming soon, exclusive, which you can find nowhere else on the internet. That's reason enough for you to subscribe.